all right y'all y'all know who it is you know what it is your boy jp comes out with another how to this is a 2006 Chevy colorado and uh we're gonna go ahead and take this radio out and install the old jvc 250 now what i like to do first um with this one they're very simple but you want to take your panel removal tool and i like to come in on this part right here and i like to do a tad bit bending it's only held in by clips but i like to come in here and get a little bit of leverage that way you hear that popping off now i can see it and i can get my fingers behind there i'm gonna have to use two hands maybe uh oh maybe not all right you got that one clip that's at the bottom that goes in there once he gets loose everybody get loose now we definitely want to come up here with the panel removal and just kind of work our way around. Yeah, you just want to come in and you use your panel removal, come in and work it a little bit more. And then once you get that airbag out, so there it is right there. Now we have one harness right up here that needs to come out. Ugh. That gives me tons of room. So I'm just gonna Sit that boy right there until I get my three screws out. With these, you're gonna have one on the right and two on the left. Ba 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 ba. Those are seven mil screws. Boom! Take that thing out like that, boy. Uh oh. Boom. And that's that. We are literally done. One thing that I will tell you guys is that when you're putting in a double den, this bar can get in the way. Uh, but you don't have to cut it because I'm pretty sure we can just bend that bar back. <clears throat> like that. So I bent it back just a tad bit. And then uh, that little bit should be enough for us to put our double den in and not have any issues. So let me go ahead and get this thing wired up, mic'd up, and I will uh, see you guys in a second. All right, y'all, so we got everything wired up using the RP5 GM11 for this install. Now, uh, I know what you're thinking. I didn't actually show how to wire this thing up, and that's because I want to keep all these videos short and sweet. So I actually do these radio removals just to show you how to remove the radio, and you can hit that uh, card over there in the corner, and it'll show you how to wire the radio up because it's literally the exact same way each and every time. This uh, truck does not have steering wheel control, so we don't have to worry about uh, turning this dial to get the right steering wheel control, but if yours does have steering wheel controls, this one will give you your ignition that you need and the steering wheel controls. All these links will be in the description, uh, but let me go ahead and get the thing hooked up so you can see what it looks like. It looks like when it's all set and done nice and flush, you feel me? So everything working good turn that down a little bit so uh yeah that's pretty much it man this is what it looks like when it's all said and done i hope you guys found some type of value in this video if you have go ahead and hit that like button don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell and uh all the other good stuff man uh don't forget the links are in the description the cars are in the corner i will have a all of these products in there uh till next time this is your boy jp signing out peace see y'all in the next car